Hey guys, this is Rocketman Dan. Today I thought I'd have a go at building the smallest little VTOL plane I could manage, and I thought I'd give you a look at the uh, at the build as well, in case you fancy building it for yourself, testing it out. See if you can maybe take it to lathe, who knows. It's not too complicated of a build really. You only need a few of the starting parts. I don't think there's anything on here that requires you to delve too deep into the tech tree. It's mainly a lot of fiddling about, you know, uh, getting the elevons right and uh, especially trying to figure out a way for yaw to work as well. That's what these two elevons at the side are doing. I've just moved them up a little bit as well. And then I had the trouble of trying to set everything, uh, you know, for the elevons on top to only control yaw and the back to only control roll and pitch. I also had a bit of trouble trying to put anything on it really, especially if the legs are... Uh, Usually the mass indicator in the middle there is quite useful, but it, it's so big on a plane this small as well. And it took me quite, quite a few tries to get that uh, central engine just there, that little Juno, to try and get that exactly in the centre of mass. I was just setting a few action groups as well, uh, you know, to turn one engine off and to turn the other on, uh, all at the right times. There's Jeb on the runway there. He looks a little bit nervous, but so would you be. Just got to remember to turn the altimeter to above ground level and also to show me my thrust to weight as well. Because obviously it'll, it'll only start lifting me up once I'm above one on my thrust to weight. I do love how it rises. It, it looks like a little spaceship or something. You know, a UFO type of spaceship anyway. But it's a great little flyer. You know, I could, I could get going quite fast. Now this footage is sped up. Uh, by twice yeah by twice I believe uh, but still you know it feels quite fast when you're flying it and my daughter she she loves to play KSP as well uh, she's only six but she loves to try and fly down to as low as the water as possible and then pull back just to see the effect on the water just like that uh, so I thought I'd uh, give that a try with it as well and it handles really well it can be a little bit jumpy, so I, I did have to turn the uh, authority limiter down on those elevons just a bit, which you probably saw me do in the build, but other than that, it's, uh, it's a great little plane. It, it'll probably work really well for lathe. Now, landing's where I had a little bit of trouble. With it being a v VTOL, I thought I'd I best show it landing. And slowing down can be a little bit tricky as well, because obviously you want to go lower, so you've got to lower your the speed of your engine lower the thrust but if you lower it too far the engine hasn't got time to whirl back up to full thrust to give you a thrust above one but I seem to manage it well on the second attempt anyway okay thanks very much for watching if you'd like to like share subscribe maybe leave me a comment that'd be great see you next time bye bye